In this particular video, we're going to cover how to check and reset Telpex mole traps and show you how you can catch four moles in under three minutes. Walking up to my first trap, pulling a mole, I'm going to reset the trap, a little bit of a squeeze, pulling some dirt up into the center, setting the trap right in the tunnel, pushing a little bit of dirt underneath that pan, and I'm going to dig up a little bit of dirt off to the right, cover the trap. Always remember, moles don't like light, and they don't uh, like air. So we always want to cover that trap up to at least the spring. I'm going to dig a little bit deeper hole, pop the mole in. You won't see it, but as I walk away, I'm going to give that spot a good stomp with my foot. That mole will decompose within... Uh, three, four, five days in the heat in this particular area. It was probably about 90 degrees that day. Come to my second trap. One of the things that you'll notice is that as I lift the trap, I bend the arms of the trap out. That'll prevent a mole from slipping out of the trap if you just pull it straight up and out. Sometimes you'll pull a mole out of the trap and you won't even know you had caught one. You'll think that the trap was snapped with nothing in it. So always put a little pressure, outward pressure, on uh, those, the arms of the mole trap. Again, covering the trap up. <laughs> Going to dig just a little bit of uh, uh, sod up, lift that sod up, drop the mole in. And again, as I'm walking away, I'm going to give it a good hard stomp with my foot. Walking up to my third trap. In this particular property, the house is off to the left, and there's a garden area or ornamental mulch area off to the right. And this is a little bit later in the season, and what I think ha has happened is the moles uh, have kind of just um, ate, them, ate themselves out of food off to the right, and they're traversing uh, from the right to the house and looking for food out in the lawn. <clears throat> Go ahead and pull my third mole, uh, dig a spot out for that mole, bury them. Again, as I'm walking away, I'm going to give that a good hard stamp, stomp. Move on to my fourth and final trap. Pull that mole. Again, reset that trap right in the tunnel using my left index or middle, actually middle finger uh, to lift that um, uh, trigger and then filling uh, that trap in with dirt. Lift a little bit of sod, put the mole back in, and as I'm walking away, I'm going to give that one last stomp. So that was uh, addressing four moles in a little bit uh, under three minutes time with a Telpax mole trap.